It has been more than three years since a catastrophic earthquake and tsunami in Japan killed thousands and damaged or destroyed millions of buildings, including a nuclear power plant. And after all that time, there are still concerns that leaked radiation is washing up on Oregon's beaches. In a special report, we now take you to Florence to show you how the state of Oregon is testing the waters. March 11, 2011. A 9.0 magnitude earthquake strikes 100 miles off the coast of Japan. Japan's largest quake ever sends a 30-foot tall wall of water toward the coastline. Caught on cameras burying farms and fishing villages, 19,000 people died. Among the 1 million buildings damaged or destroyed, the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. Six months ago, ABC News was allowed inside that plant. In the ABC report, radiation levels recorded were 2,000 times higher than outside Fukushima. The Japanese government claimed the radiation was contained. The scientists say they've measured radiation linked to the meltdown 70 miles away. Those reports struck fear in many, especially as debris continues to wash ashore here in Oregon. The debris has started to pick up slightly over the past week or so. Uh, nothing very large here in this area of the beach, but we have had a couple of things show up on the beach. For Oregon Parks Ranger Daniel Shalako, this is his office. So you couldn't ask for a better job. And today, he's up to his knees in work. Today, I'm collecting radiation samples. Three samples to be measured for radiation levels. One from the surf. We try to get under the foam layer and we're getting down, um, trying to get a good sample of the ocean itself. A second sample is pulled from the sand. And after running water for about one minute, a third is taken from a tap closest to the beach. Each quarter since August of 2011, samples have been taken from multiple locations along the coast. Each is tested for two types of radiation and results are posted on the state's Public Health Division website. The results, time after time after time, minimum detectable activity, and not once have tests come back any different. Back on the beach, the news is comforting, but not convincing. I guess it's the government, so I'd kind of feel like I would have to trust what they say, but, you know, you never know. For Shane Mead, he says nothing will keep him off the beach, but reports of trace amounts of radiation found in bluefin tuna in California have him changing his diet. I definitely think about staying away from food from the ocean, sushi and stuff like that. It just worries me that I'd be eating radiated food, possibly. Returning home to Canada following a trip to Nevada, Keith Ross says he too is confident the coast is clear but gives it thought. I always consider radiation, debris, and all this, because you never know what's coming over from either the tsunami or the meltdown they had over there. But further up on the beaches and over on Bay Street... <laughs> oh, sorry. We really don't think about it. It is not a big deal. Residents and shop owners like Charlene Martin say they have no worries. Never did. And from the tone of things, visitors to Old Town consider the Fukushima disaster old news. Business is wonderful. It has um, increased exponentially in the last year. Enough to the point they had to move to a bigger location. And this one has a view of the docks where we found Mike Nielsen, a retired contractor. He has traveled the world refueling outages at nuclear power plants. He says he would never pass himself off as an expert in radiation, but there's not many trained to do what he did. And he knows a thing or two about radiation. It doesn't stick. It's like a particle. It's like, like a dust particle. It washes off. It can be cleaned up. He knows the potential danger it brings, but he's quick to point out he would have to be brought 5,000 miles across the ocean. So anything that comes this way is going to be so diluted it's not going to matter. And the things that are highly radioactive that are in the containment area of the power plants are heavy and they're going to sink if they even float at all. So it won't get here. Experts that KZI 9 spoke with generally agree, but just in case, park rangers like Daniel Shalako will stay busy at the office. It's a great job being able to come out here on the beach and see the surf and the people enjoying the sun in the summer. It's, it's really good. Even if he is up to his knees in work testing the waters. All right, here I have 12 pages of reports showing water sample information, where the samples were taken, what date, and the results of the test for the two different types of radiation. I pulled those from the Oregon Public Health Division website, and if you would like to read them for yourself, 
We've posted a link on our website at kezi.com.